My own perspective is that I, um, I do not yet believe that climate change has um, really had um, the kind of effect on business that it needs to have. Um, I think we still have a um, considerable way to go um, before climate change and the implications of climate change are um, seriously taken. Um, I think all of us are aware of, of um, for example, the, the, the cost of, of uh, gasoline in the United States that, you know, right now, as, as I was driving up here to Canton, I saw gasoline stations that are advertising a gallon of gasoline for, for about $3. Um, I have a friend of mine who is from England who was uh, visiting recently and he was telling me that a gallon of gasoline in England right now is about eight, nine dollars. In other places in Europe it's ten dollars. Um, and so there is a very conscientious desire to um, have people be much more conscious of, of the environment when, when you simply um, raise the cost of what is not environmentally responsible. Um, so that's why we are not there yet. I think there's greater awareness. I think that if you turn on your television set, you will see advertising done by international corporations that will try and convince us that that they have gotten the message that there are now green companies and et cetera, and they talk about the things that they've done to reflect that. But um, I think that we are barely scratching the surface on that. I think that um, I personally cannot speak about the consumer as a monolithic group. Um, if you're earning $250,000 a year, being a consumer means something radically different than if you're a family with two kids and you're trying to live on $8 an hour. Um, so I think that, um, you know, there are people that have the wherewithal to go out and buy a Prius. Um, and there is a conscientious decision by, on the part of the consumer in buying that Prius because it's, it's advertised, it's marketed as a much more environmentally friendly vehicle. Uh, individuals that are earning $8 an hour aren't going to go and buy a Prius. Um, so, are there individuals that are making choices that are determined in part by an environmental concern? Absolutely. Is that a growing number? Absolutely. Um, is it going to continue to grow? Yes. And when you ask about the next four or five years, is it going to look perceptibly different in four or five years than it does today, I have no doubt. Having said that, um, one of the real challenges is to understand the importance of making the environmental issue something that can be owned across the entire economic spectrum. I have to if, if I am an environmentalist, I need to understand that when I speak, um, my audience, who my audience is, is going to take me to understanding that I have to learn to speak differently because the needs and the vested interests are going to be very, very different.